session i'll show you how to select the rows based on condition using the different methods the different methods that we'll discuss here is first method is the boolean variables using the methods of boolean variables and the second is the using the variable attribute so as usual what we will do we will import the pandas uh, library and followed by our train data set which i have taken from kaggle.com so we'll execute these two lines and our data set is created df.info so we have this list of uh, attributes of this data set the condition in which like we will extract the data is first of all uh, the sex of the uh, the particular row will be male p class should be 1 age will be greater than 40 and embark is s so how we are going to execute this so what we'll write here is like uh, approach 1 field underscore sex is equals to df sex equals to equals to if you open this, the value for the sex is male, P class is 1, 2, 3, embarked as S, C, and Q. You can just give by value count for that particular field and you will get the value. Now, after this, field underscore P class is equal to DFP is equal to equals to 1. Field underscore age equals to DF of age greater than 40. Field underscore embark is equal to DF of embark equals to equals to S. So these are the boolean variables which have created. Now what we will do, we will apply our method. What we will do, df of field underscore sex and field of p class dot head. If we execute this, so you can see all the p class is 1 and here the sex column is male. We will apply one more condition in this and field underscore age you can see now here the age which is extracted is there is no condition on age right less than and greater than 40 we, we have all the cases after we execute this the age is greater than 40 p class is 1 and the sex is male we'll add one more condition to this and field embark we can see embark is s see everything is there but now after this we will have only s in the embark column so P class is 1, sex is male, age is always greater than uh, 40 and embarked is always S. So you can see here there are 34 if you just give here dot count. 34 records are selected for cabin we don't have data that's why it has 37 but overall 34 records are selected. So you can see these are the 34 records. Now the second method this is the first method. The second method is the symbol the lengthy approach where which is prone to error. But still, if you do it properly, you, you can execute it correctly. Now, so the second approach will be df of uh, df of uh, sex, uh, sex is equal to equals to male and df of p equals to so one. And if you execute this dot head, which will be better. If you execute this, we got the similar uh, conditions, similar output. Now. You can add one more condition uh, df you need to provide it inside the parenthesis df and the next condition is age greater than 40 now again you can execute this and this is also working fine and df of final is mbar equals to equals to this also need to be provided inside the uh, inside the parenthesis so we will click so you can see this is absolutely and if you want to do the count count is also the same so in this way it, it very easily we can extract the rows of the column based on the condition and whether you can it's up to your it's up to you how you want to extract whether you want to use the boolean approach or you want to uh, like uh, use the variable attribute so thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be related to the dummy dummy traps in the one-hot encoding or the dummy variable trap. So thanks a lot.